Today we're going to be talking about Anchor.fm or if you're already on the iOS app store, Anchor. We picked Anchor because it's one of the new hottest apps that has been released in the app market within the last couple of weeks. It is gonna be huge. You can post questions in audible form or make statements or start a discussion and have people globally respond back to you. Some of the biggest reasons of why this is important is because there isn't a podcasting or live podcasting app like this yet. Most of the different products out there, you have to have audio and video. So it's providing a special niche, especially amongst people who don't really wanna put themselves out there in video. And it's great because people give really thoughtful answers and you can hear in the cadence of their voice the type of passion that they have towards this subject versus just what you would get over text like lols or that's great or nice picture or whatever else. Some perfect examples of how it can be used. What does the future look like with on-demand services becoming the norm and things being more easily accessible? plus the increase of people working from their homes. Are people just gonna stay in their homes and live their lives just from their houses? And people can respond like this. Question, it reminds me of the movie WALL-E where humanity is basically confined to lounge chairs and drinking sodas that have a lot of sugar in them. Uh, and nobody really ever gets up. They just sort of move around because technology does everything. Or like this. I think the Ready Player One scenario that you outlined is definitely one way that society could go I think a lot of the current trends in technology. After the onboarding process, you'll have a clear understanding of how to use the app. But here are some quick tips and tricks with posting. So when you go to post a message, you can do it one of two ways. You can either hold down this and start recording, which we're going to delete that, or you can hold down the button and swipe up. And that way you don't have to leave your thumb on the recording button for the whole time. Of course, you have to press the button again to stop recording. The last way is actually probably the easiest, is what I demonstrated earlier with what they call telephone mode, which is illustrated here, where you record it by just holding it up to your ear like you're recording or making a normal phone call. After you're done recording, you're going to hit next, and then you're going to come up with this option to write a caption and tag your friends. One thing that has not been balanced out quite yet is the notification system within Anchor. Whoop, there's one right there. So we suggest going, holding off mass tagging all of your friends when you're using this app, but instead being very selective on who you invite and who you tag. After you've tagged a couple of your key friends that you think should be highlighted or should see the question or comment that you asked, you then can decide whether you want it to post to your Twitter or whether you want to just share it strictly on Anchor. When you're done, just hit post and you're good to go. It'll upload and bam, you've posted your first legit Anchor. Thanks guys for watching this video on Anchor. Definitely check it out, follow me on Anchor so we can start having real-time conversations on the app.